Hello and welcome to the Dataman 280 Quick Start video. This video will show what to expect when unboxing a Dataman 280, including how to set up the hardware and connect to the reader using the Dataman setup tool. Right out of the box, the Dataman 280 is fully assembled with lighting and a lens. To set up your new Dataman 280 you will need Mounting hardware for your desired application A computer with access to the Dataman setup tool An X-coded Ethernet cable And a power source A Dataman 280 can be powered using either a 24-volt power supply with a power I.O. cable or a PoE injector When using a PoE injector you will also need a double-ended Ethernet cable The first step to set up the Dataman 280 is to mount it to a stand. Start by connecting the reader to the selected mounting bracket. On the bottom of the Dataman 280 there are two threaded holes. Line these up with the corresponding holes on the mounting bracket. Place one of the included bolts through a set of aligned holes into the bottom of the reader. Repeat this with the second set making sure the bracket stays aligned and then tighten both bolts with an Allen wrench to secure the reader. Next, mount the bracket to the stand. This step will differ depending on the style of stand you are using. For this demo, the angled mounting bracket is being secured to the stand using a nut, bolt, and washer. Once again, use a tool, in this case an Allen wrench, to make sure the hardware is secure. Adjust the bracket as needed so that the reader is pointed down to where the codes will be presented. Position the reader at a slight angle to reduce reflections and improve the performance of the vision system. The next step in the setup process is to connect the reader. This demo will show how to connect to the Dataman 280, first using a PoE injector, and then with a 24-volt power supply. First, plug the X-coded cable head of the teal Ethernet cable into its respective port on the back of the reader. Check the position of the pins and key on the inside of the cable head beforehand to avoid bending any of the pins, which could damage the cable. Secure the cable by tightening the threaded nut. Next, plug the other end of the cable into the PoE injector's out port. Once the PoE injector has been connected properly, the green LEDs on the top of the reader will start lighting up, indicating that the reader is powering up. To connect the reader to your computer, plug one end of the double-ended Ethernet cable into the PoE injector's in port and the other end into your computer. When powering your Dataman 280 with a 24-volt power supply, plug the Ethernet end of the X-coded Ethernet cable directly into your computer. Then plug the M12 cable head from the cable connected to the 24-volt power supply into the respective port on the back of the reader. Check the position of the key inside the cable head before plugging it into the reader to prevent any damage, and tighten the threaded nut to secure the cable in place. Once the reader has powered on, the setup process can be completed in the Dataman Setup tool. If you have not already downloaded the software, refer to the Dataman Setup Tool install video for instructions. In the Dataman Setup Tool, all the readers on your network will be listed with information about their network settings and firmware. Connect to your reader by double-clicking it in the list. Next, click the Optimize Image step to set up the image. Click Live to enter the live mode and confirm a sample code is in the reader's field of view. When this step is complete, click Live again to exit live mode. Next, click Tune to optimize focus and lighting settings for the reader based on the code presented. To capture a reading of the sample code, the reader can be triggered by clicking the Trigger button in the top left of the software. Results will be listed in the Results History pane in the lower right corner. If a code is not read, try checking the reader's train settings. The Dataman Setup Tool's default settings may train the reader to only read codes with the same size, orientation, and symbology type as the one presented when the reader was tuned. To untrain the previous code, click Untrain Code, and uncheck the Train After Tuning checkbox to prevent this from happening again. The symbology settings can be changed in the Code Details Application step. 
uncheck the Disable Untrained Symbology checkbox and confirm your desired code symbology type is selected. This concludes the quick start setup process. For more information, check out the other videos in the Dataman 280 setup and troubleshooting series. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.